21-year-old Anglo-American Andrew Tate is a straight-talking entrepreneur with his own advertising company in Luton. I'm very mentally strong. If I want to achieve something, I will achieve it because I've never been in a situation in my life so far in my 21 years where I really wanted something and didn't get it. I'm not sure what my fellow travelers would be like. Um, the worst kind of people would either be two-faced people, which is undoubtedly going to happen at some point during this trip. Um, people who seek attention and anyone who thinks they're exceptionally smart or exceptionally physically capable and they have nothing to back it up, it's going to quickly get my nerves. Someone's coming, someone's coming. Oi, oi. <laughs> I think this is where everyone else is. You all right? I'm not bad, how are you? Hello. Nice to meet you. You all right? You all right? Andrew? Chantel. Gareth. 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 Fantastic. For the three who have arrived and the three who are on their way, their journey through Indonesia will start here in Jakarta. And then two months later, almost 3,000 kilometers east on Mount Kelimutu. En route, they'll go through Java, the party islands of Bali, Gili and Lombok, as well as the more remote islands of Sumbawa and Flores. After reaching their final destination, they must decide individually who among them deserves to be called the ultimate traveller and walk away with £10,000 prize money. So hot. Here we go. Hi. How's it going? Really nice Hello, you are right, Chloe? Hi. Where are you from? I'm from, like, France, like oh, Hammersmith. Yeah. I was like thinking West... of Posh Park London. Where are you from? Hackney, East London. Hey, oh, someone's here again. Someone's coming. Hello. Hi. Fellow traveller. Nice to meet you. Nice you too. Nice to meet you. I'm Marty Clear. Clary, nice to Chantel. meet you. Chantel. Gareth. Andrew. Nice to meet you. With five novice backpackers already at the meeting point, 19-year-old cheeky chappy and ladies' man Nathan Dunlop will be the last person to join them. My mates always say I'm always the one up for a laugh and that like always like the lad one in the, in the in the bars or something or wherever we go like not saying I'm a I'm a comedian or nothing but hopefully I'll make people laugh sometimes. Like. Hello. Madness this isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you alright everyone? Yeah? Hello. yeah yeah. Whoa. What's your name? Where are you from? Nathan isn't it? I'm from Bermondsey, South East London. Wait, has everyone like, has everyone got lots of travel experience? Yeah. No. no. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, mate. Oh, my impressions of everyone else is good. Like, I think everyone's on the same wavelength as me. I think the girls are all beautiful, mate. They're all pretty stunning. Like, I'd like to get to know them a bit more. Hopefully, like, you never see, you never know what could happen. You never know, like, see. So. <laughs> Do you want to? Okay, so to I guess we've got to go. I we've think because you're holding the guy, you should be in charge. I think this is going to be proper hard. I think it's going to be a big time hard. To be honest, I'm struggling now. I reckon after a week, I'll know what I mean. I've got myself in for, but now I'm, I'm having like scary moments, like scary thoughts. So I'm just pretty much trying to keep calm. Coming up. I can't look at him and feel sorry for him. I look down on him like he's an idiot. And I wish I did him because I've lost all respect for the guy. I was mad with everyone staring at me. Jakarta, the bustling capital city of Indonesia, where 30 minutes ago, six inexperienced backpackers met for the very first time. <laughs> smells horrible, that stuff. Yeah. Over the next two months, they must compete against each other for the title of Ultimate Traveller, as they find their own way from Jakarta to Mount Kelimutu via eight different locations. The first being Lembang, a four-hour train journey southeast of Jakarta, which they must reach by the end of the week. Oh, yeah. This road is madness. Here, the six must individually vote on who the best traveller of the week has been. To win votes, it is vital that each person impresses their fellow travellers at all times. Go that way. I don't know. I think we should ask before we go left or right. We go to left or right. Without access to their mobile phones or the internet, they must travel using only a basic guidebook and on a daily budget of just 200,000 rupiah, about 12 pounds each. Our first right? task is getting across this road. Never, I've never seen traffic like this before, mate. There's not a space we can walk in between. She cross? Yeah, come. Let's just cross. Let's, go. Let's just stop it. We ain't getting across it. <laughs> Oh, you're in a boat! Yeah, you're good. Oh, my days! Indonesia, I think it's like, it's like Mars to me. It's like an alien planet, but 
I can't just go up to someone and say, excuse me, do you know what this is? Because they'll be like, well, what? I think the language barrel will be the hardest thing for me, but, and the climate, so. Okay, well, okay, we're just going to sit here, have a drink, and I think that's the best thing we can do, and then just, like, plan what we want to do after that, and, like, maybe get somewhere to stay for tonight. Night sleeping rough tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no way. As the sun sets in Indonesia around six each evening, if the group wants to find accommodation before nightfall, they have just one hour left. I'm absolutely scared, like, to max. I'm, to be honest, I'm really, really worried. I'm like, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I am. I can already feel a bit, like, homesick as well. Like, God knows what I'll be like in a week and two weeks or whatever. Guys, 3,000, let's get... How much? 3,000, so that's 2,000 less, which is not too bad. Come, let's do like, that. 30,000, sorry. Yeah. yeah. I'll do that, I'm in there. With time running out before sundown, Chloe takes the lead and barters a good deal for two taxis in order to speed up their search for affordable accommodation. After 20 minutes of driving, the six travellers finally spot a hostel and decide to have a look at the rooms. Is there a shower? I think it's just stuck, yeah. Toilet. Oh, it's a sh it's showerish thingy. Toilet slash shower. How no much complaint. is it? This is 130, innit? Yeah, I don't worry. Yo, we'll have to go look around. Okay, please. Yeah. Oh, it's got a fan. Yeah, a brand. So I think maybe this would be a good idea, you know? It's only got this bit, though. That's a shower. That's not a shower, that's a tap. A shower. Shower. <laughs> I'm starting to realise how good stuff is like elsewhere. It's quite like it's quite raw, isn't it? In it. Oh my god. Yeah, with a sleeping bag, that'd be fine. Calm Honestly, down, I'm not kidding. Like this is probably one sleeping bag as good as what we had on holiday. <laughs> that doesn't say much about our holiday. Where was your holiday? In Gran Canaria. Okay. And have they made the decision? It's for you. Air conditioning. No, I think air conditioning. Oh. The standard of accommodation is nothing I'm used to at all, and I find it quite um, scary, to be honest. Like, security-wise, it's nothing close to like what you'd have on a normal holiday that I've been used to. But it's worth experiencing these kind of things, really, I think, just so you can get used to this whole travel experience. Despite the group's initial reservations about the standard of accommodation, they decide that it's too late to continue the search, and the boys take one room... Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, this is us, awesome, mate. It's all right. While the girls share another, at a cost of 40,000 rupiah each, about £2.50, just one fifth of their daily allowance. Oh, I don't like it in here. Have we got paper? Just have a look. What no, is it? Have a look. It's like white things. I don't want to look at it. There's chewing gum and a condom. Oh my that god, be. that's <laughs> disgusting. That is so foul. <laughs> After freshening up, our exhausted and jet-lagged group, still acclimatising to the heat and humidity of Indonesia, head out for a drink. They've already sprung some in it over. Yeah. While Gareth, who has admitted to feeling homesick since arriving in Jakarta only six hours ago, has decided to remain at the hostel and have an early night. Um, first day has been pretty much quite tough, really tiring, I'm absolutely knackered um, and if anything, like, I feel a bit, um, I don't know, a bit, a bit worried. Everybody else seems to be fine getting on and stuff. I don't know, I find it quite daunting. As far as the first day goes, I think like I've pretty much like fallen to pieces really. A bit mad at girls didn't come like he said, yeah, he's, he's not feeling it, he's not feeling up to that. I think like once he once he's had a sleep and stuff, he'll be fine. Hopefully, because it's, it's, it's day one of a yeah, very He can long have a trip. cold shower that'll wake him up a bit and then he can have a sleep wherever. <laughs> if he can't make the morning he'll feel cold fresh cold. in it and hopefully he'll be up for that. My opinion is it's just easy to look down on Gareth for being so weak minded. I just hope when people do struggle or, or when they do have these problems they don't they understand that it's extremely selfish to hold the whole group up or to slow us all down because they're feeling homesick and they just get on with it and let us do what we need to do and have fun. Because if we're not feeling down, the last thing we want to do is be sitting around while someone mopes about or we can go out and party. Lemba 
sometimes where the activities are and I like to do as much as of those well, possible because right, I, like... I, I, I don't want to just travel, 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 you know? It's day two and after a good night's sleep our backpackers have found a local cafe and are planning their next move over a late breakfast. How are we getting there by Friday? While most of the group are eager to get to Lembang, their first destination, as soon as possible, homesick Gareth is still wondering whether backpacking is really for him. Right, to be honest, I reckon I've had pretty, like, tough time. Like, I'm pretty, I've had to adjust really, like, to this. It's really different to home and stuff, but hopefully, like, you know, I'm not the only one who's having, like, reservations and stuff, like. I feel 100% fine. It's a huge opportunity I've got for nothing. I feel absolutely scared to be honest. Like I'm not. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try my best, man. You know, like I'm gonna. I'm gonna really try my best. But it's gonna be. It's gonna be hard and stuff. With their stomachs full, the six backpackers take a taxi to the local train station. This will be the first time they have taken public transport since arriving in Indonesia. Yeah, one person business. Twenty-five thousand. Yeah. After buying train tickets at a cost of 25,000 rupiah, equivalent to about £1.50 each, the group of six board the 3.30 to Bandung. Will that stay? A four-hour journey that will see them arrive after sundown in another unfamiliar city. Oh, no, no, I can't stay here, mate. Soon after the train leaves Jakarta, Gareth falls asleep, while the others take in the passing scenery. I'm glad to see we're leaving it. I'm glad to see we're leaving Jakarta, like, so... But, yeah, I didn't think I'd be leaving it looking at the train, like... Say so you probably get arrested in England if you open up the door like this, but... This is quality, yeah. Three hours later and Andrew is starting to lose patience with homesick 20-year-old Gareth, who hasn't spoken to anyone since boarding the train. To me, it's just alien and I, I can't help but look on it as moronic. I can't look at him and feel sorry for him. I look down on him like he's an idiot and I wish I didn't because I've lost all respect for the guy. Honestly, he's had life way too easy for far too long and one day or another he needs to grow up and I think today is probably a good day to do it. Finally, after four long hours, the train pulls into Bandung Station. Whoa! Lembang, the destination they must reach this week, is still another hour's drive north. Are you the minibus man? Are you the man with the minibus? And 20-year-old Chloe is determined they leave immediately and get there tonight. Where are we going? 150 divided by 6. Hang on. Hoping this will give them a couple of days to relax and sightsee before they must gather at the end of the week to decide who's been the best traveller so far. It's 150,000 for this bus to go to Lembang, all of us. Perfect. Great. Right. Okay. Even though they should be managing their limited budgets carefully, last night's experience of such basic accommodation isn't one they want to repeat tonight. That's like okay, we want to go to the most amazing one, which oh, that's is more than our hotel. the Grand Hotel no, Lembang. Oh, 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 After yeah. bartering a price of 150,000 rupiah, almost nine pounds between them, our six board a local minibus to take them to their luxury accommodation. Can we have the windows down, please? Child long. En route, the group, apart from Gareth, reflect on their train journey from Jakarta. Did you guys not think like the scenery was really nice? Don't know if you saw the I don't think not. I, thought, I don't think not. It was made you realise like uh, lucky how really. poor. Yeah. They absolutely. may be happier than we are. There's people in London they who are so. They do look happy. They, they look are. so happy. All the little kids like playing football by the side of the, the train. There's, there's, there's people in London with million pound houses who are stressed out over interest rates. Do you know what yeah. I mean? At least they at least they don't care. They might be happy with what they've got. They've got a chopper. The FTSE 100 and the Dow Jones doesn't affect them. They don't matter. I don't even know what they are. Stock markets. Yeah. I don't think we have them in Scotland. I think you do. This is it, this is it. Oh, we have. Oh, this is a drive, this is a drive. Bang bong. 
my god, the light okay, right, so we're entering the hotel. Oh, this is it, yeah. After an hour on the road, the tired group finally arrive in Lembang and spot their hotel. It's so nice. Oh, oh it my looks god, so nice. it's so nice. Wait, it looks like a mate. Look, it's like. I told you, I told you to have faith. See? But, but it's flat though. Hang on, we haven't seen the room yet. The daily room cost at this hotel is 450,000 rupiah, almost 27 pounds per room, with a maximum of three people sharing. If they stay here, each person will be paying nine pounds a night, almost seven pounds more than the hostel they opted for in Jakarta. We're one, we're one party, they're one party. Considering they have a daily budget of just under £12 each, which must cover food, travel and accommodation, staying in this hotel is a luxury they can ill afford. Does the toilet flush? After dumping their bags, most of the group head straight for the hotel restaurant. Where's, um, gas? You didn't want Sam's everywhere. Not with us. We don't think he likes me and Nathan. <laughs> he can stay with us. I don't know, I don't know, I don't think he will probably. He says he's just getting changed, but I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't come down. Yet. Gareth, who has struggled since arriving yesterday and who has barely spoken to anyone since leaving Jakarta this afternoon, has an announcement to make to the rest of the group. I've, um, I've been having a think and I've just pretty much decided that um, I'm wanting to leave, really. And um, I'm pretty much like 100% like I want to leave and I've thought it through, like all the things about it and... So, what's, what's the main reason you're leaving then, what are you so uncomfortable with? It's a bit of everything, like I just know in myself personally, like I, I, I don't want to, to, do, to, do, to do it and I want to leave you to, to form, you know, get your like group going and stuff. I'm sorry if it like, has any impact to me, you know, like, you're all proper sound people, like, they have proper chuff to meet you all, like, big time. If, you, if, that's, if, that, if that's what you want to do, we, we, we can't stop you, you know, you have to go home. I think you've got to come here expecting the worst and then everything will just get better from there and I think he's come here expecting that he's going to get maybe a holiday or something. Eh? I don't sympathise with why he's leaving, I don't sympathise with his reasons, I, I can't feel sorry for him because I look, I just, it's just, it really, it, and for want of a better word, it's pathetic, it's like come on, get on with it, it's, it's really childish and I, I just, I'm glad he's going because it was getting on my nerves, to be honest. I've completely um, underestimated this whole thing and for what it really is, I'm, I'm happy to say that I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'll be going. Looking forward to getting back home. It's the following day, and after last night's announcement to the group that he wanted to leave, despite having only been in Indonesia for two days, Gareth heads back to Jakarta to fly home. Sweet, mate. Sweet, mate. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice yeah. Hi, Hi, you take care, yeah? You'll be all sound. No, you will not like me. <laughs> right, right I'll sweet, see you later. Yeah. To fly now, innit? Take care, sweet, yeah. Mate. Alright, see you later. It's just five, right? He's gone. That's it, mate. After the break. This is like proper stealth here. Yeah. The boys go on the run. This is dodge, mate. It's late afternoon and our five competing travellers are in the town of Lembang, a four-hour train journey southeast of Jakarta and the first location of eight that they must visit during their two-month journey through Indonesia. The food market, you know, is it famous? In two days, they must all gather for their first official end-of-week meeting and vote individually for who among them has stood out as the best traveller so far. Oh, just outside? Yes. Literally here? Oh. Keen to win votes, Chloe is determined today that she will experience some real Indonesian culture. Your taxi. And negotiates the best way to get to a night market she's heard about on the outskirts of Bandung, a one-hour drive south. How much? How much? Managing to convince Mary Claire and Chantel to join her, Where's the money? We're not going to the food market, so... Okay, we'll, just... well see you guys back 
Chloe barters a price with a local minibus to take them to the night market, leaving the boys to explore the culture on offer in Lembang. Just keep your eye out for anything that looks interesting, mate. I'll keep your eye out. However, the boys are soon distracted, and any plans to sightsee are quickly forgotten. <laughs> We're gonna have a little butch down here, mate. When they spot a place where they can play computer games. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we played some games, yeah. Pay you, yeah? Yeah. That's enough. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, yeah. yeah. We weren't up the uh, food market or anything anyway, so it's not the most exciting thing, so I could do that back at home, I could do it anyway, so. So what's mad about it, you always got to think about the budget, like, you're not used to that, are like, It's mad. After blowing almost three quarters of the following day's allowance on playing computer games for most of the afternoon, Andrew and Nathan are back at the hotel discussing the competition. If I vote for you and you vote for me, the girls are going to vote amongst themselves, and because there's more of them, a girl's always going to get the prize. With their first official end of week meeting approaching, where all five must individually vote for who they think the best traveller so far has been, Andrew is already thinking tactically as to how to secure votes. You need to try and bridge the gap and like, I need to vote for you and you need to vote for Chantel or something. We need, one of us needs to vote for one of the girls to try and make it look like, to try and remove the divide because if we keep the divide there we're totally lost. But otherwise, we might be able to entice the girls to give one of us a vote. So we should decide tonight, like, one of us will vote for the other one, and then one of us will vote for one of the girls to try and remove the gap. Tomorrow, each person must vote for who they think has been the best traveller so far. Whoever wins this vote will receive an extra 50% on top of their daily allowance for the following week. And now for here. So far, the girls have managed their budget well and have enough money to spend their last night in Lembang at their luxury hotel. Might as well just try to find something really cheap with just two beds in it. It's only a night, isn't it? However, after blowing most of today's allowance on their computer games marathon yesterday, the boys cannot afford another night of extravagance. With no other choice, the sorry pair check out and begin their search for more basic accommodation. the nicest weather. Right, right. I think we look for the grottiest one available at the moment. Sounds good to me, bro. <laughs> Room discount 50% there. Yeah? Um, hello, um, we'd like to know how much a room is for two people. How, mu how much money for, um, do, does anyone speak English? No. No. Um, I don't think we're going to get through here. Do you think? Looks hard. Do you think we should just... While Andrew and Nathan head off to try their luck elsewhere... I think that Andrew, um, he's arrogant. <laughs> he's openly arrogant though, he makes yeah. us a dick. At the hotel, the girls take refuge from the rain and gossip about the boys. And Nathan's like someone who would love to meet, um, who you see down the pub, who you just think is hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's really bad, though, because we have no one to fancy, and I'm not used to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to end up thinking the fancy Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to meet more people. <laughs> Two ghetto. Full house? Full house. Just us two. Oh, you're full. Full. Nathan and Andrew have been looking for a cheap hotel for well over an hour, but haven't been able to find anywhere within their budget. There's nothing else in town. We've looked everywhere. We've not. We've not like we haven't put effort in. So we're just going to tell the girls that we're sharing a room with them. Share a room in this hotel. Hello? Oh my god. <sighs> Where have you guys bags? been? Just trying to look for hotels for us. Uh, did it not work? No. So, where? Oh my god. It hasn't worked. We spent two hours walking 
all the way up and back. Trying to talk Indonesian to everyone. Yeah, a couple of them were fully booked. All the rest were um, too expensive. The only solution I can think of is if we stay here again, but we're going to have to share a room, all five of us. It's the only way we're not allowed to. We asked them the first night. At the we Grand Hotel night. Lembang, unless you pay, you are not allowed to crash in another person's room. And to stop this from happening, the hotel employs a team of 24-hour security guards who closely monitor the front entrance. So can I just sneak I someone think, in? Yeah, I, yeah let's just not say anything. They won't know. We've checked out officially. Really? Let's so, sneak someone in. Yeah. So we'll We're going to have to. And you, know. you don't mind sharing a room with the boys? No, it's, we have we no have to, other... Yeah, sure. There's no other way. No, there isn't. Nathan and I will we'll walk straight out of the hotel and meet you up front and we can go get something to eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. we, we searched for hotels and that for like two hours. And after all that, we're standing in the same place in them girls' room. So we got to try and do um, do espionage, trying to get past all the all the security guards and stuff. We had to do it. We didn't have a choice, really. Yeah. So. Later that evening, in an attempt to save money, the group have been to the local grocery store to buy food that they can eat in the girls' hotel room. But the boys, as non-paying guests, have got to get past hotel security first and ask the girls to distract them. Yeah, we can. Yeah, go on, that's it then. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> I like your uniform. Where did you get it from? The badges and stuff is really nice. Where did you get it from? Uh, yeah. Like, did you make it or did you buy it? That proper stealth there. Um, can I try on your hat? What? Your hat? This, this? Yeah, can I try on Here we go. I think Indonesia surprised me quite a bit because I thought I was coming to a third world country and it's kind of better than I thought it was. Later that evening, and with the boys successfully stowed in the girls' bedroom, the group get a chance to reflect on their first week in Indonesia and speculate on tomorrow's meeting, where they must vote individually for who they think has been the best traveller so far. Does everybody think that they know who they're going to vote for? Do you think it'll be kind of like on-the-spot decision? I reckon it'll be on-the-spot decision. I ain't got a clue, really, no. so... It's really difficult as well, because it depends how you're going to judge it. Are you going to judge it by the person you liked the most and who you enjoyed your time with the most, or the person who was genuinely best at bargaining down the prices, or the person who you feel safest with when you walk down the street. It's, it's, it's intangible. It's a very difficult reason to choose. Yeah, it's not yeah. Like, choose who's the best traveler, you know? So it's, it's hard. I think, for me, it's more like who's added to the experience and who's sort of, you know, really shown that they're interested in it and involved in the experience. I, and like, who's engaging with it, that's what I would say. If, if I didn't win this week and then I really, really wanted to win, what could I do different? So I think it's hard, I think... As much as it'll be difficult to like, do votes and stuff like that, I'm really looking forward to getting to the next stage of what we're going to be doing. It's like mixed feelings tomorrow. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not particularly looking forward to voting, but I do want to get, it might... get to see other stuff as well. So. Yeah. It might be like a new beginning every week as well, so it might be like a new adventure, a new kind of thing, so... About that. You never know, we could be in the rainforest tomorrow. Mm. If there is one in Indonesia, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I will be voted Traveller of the Week this week. I think the girls might vote for each other and the boys might vote for each other. Everyone else feels like they've sort of sussed everybody out. I think some of them think they've sussed me out when I think that, you know, it takes a bit longer to really fully understand people. <laughs> I'm going to vote for Chloe. The main reason I'm voting for Chloe is because I don't think anyone else will. Um, and I think that having my vote as her only vote is going to hold a huge merit. So really, I'm, I'm just trying to manipulate her, put her on the side, make her a usable weapon at some point.
I am playing the game. I'm not interested in the money at the end. I'm not interested in the 50% extra budget. I'm interested in winning. And the only reason I'm interested in winning is because I don't think I'll be able to. I'm going to have to manipulate a lot of people to win. But that's what I want to do. I want to win just so I can go home and say, yeah, I won. I manipulated them all. They somehow thought I was the best traveler. Coming up. From now on, there's going to be a twist to the game. A shocking revelation throws the group. You're lying. Oh, my God. It's the end of the first week in Indonesia, and the five competing travellers are gathering beside a lake on the outskirts of Lembang for their first official end-of-week meeting. All of them are aware that in two months' time, only one of them can be voted the ultimate traveller and take home the £10,000 prize money. But now, they must decide as individuals who has been the best traveller so far. They are not allowed to vote for themselves. And while the accolade has no bearing on the final outcome of the competition, the winner will receive 50% extra on their budget for the coming week. We all know why we're here. It's been quite, quite an eventful week and our first week in Indonesia. Each week, a different member of the group will chair the meeting. Andrew has volunteered to go first. All right, everyone, I think we should vote um, for who we think Traveller of the Week is. Chloe? Um, I would like to vote for Mary Claire because she's coped with every stage. She did, she went to the market and I think she's had the best week. I think that it should be Mary Claire. I would like to vote for Chantelle. She's been the most positive in terms of getting in about stuff that she wouldn't necessarily want to do. She's just been such like a laugh to be around and stuff. Nathan? Oh, I'm going to vote for... Andrew because I've been with him most of the time and I think there's a bit of a divide so I'm going to vote for Andrew. I think we've had a laugh and that. With Andrew up next, will he stick to his plan and vote for Chloe in the hope that she will return the favour in later weeks? Or will he opt for Nathan, his closest friend in the group? Just in regards to sorting out, you know, transport, etc, etc, I'm going to vote for Chloe. So far, Chantel, Chloe, Andrew and Marie Claire all have one vote each. Chantel is last to vote. Um, OK, um, this week I would like to vote Mary Claire as Traveller of the Week. Um, she's very positive, I think she's really mature and I think throughout the journey she'll grow. So it's pretty clear, it looks like this week's Traveller of the Week is Mary Claire. Yay! Vote on you tonight, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Because Mary Claire has been named Traveller of the Week, she will have an additional 500,000 rupiah on her budget for the coming week, giving her almost 30 pounds more money to spend than her fellow travellers. Getting Traveller of the Week was amazing. It was kind of unexpected because I felt out of the group, like, everybody kind of had something they were, like, particularly good at. Like, Chloe probably was a haggling. I felt Andrew took the lead, Nathan was the joker, and... Um, Chantel bonded the group and stuff, so I w wasn't really expecting it, but it's such a lovely thing to have, and especially with the girls, because they've obviously known me better than the boys do, so that was really, really nice of them. With Marie Claire looking forward to a more comfortable backpacking experience, our five assume that their first meeting is over. But Andrew must make some important announcements that will affect the whole group's travel experience from here on in. From now on, uh, there's going to be a twist to the game. <gasps> Each week we have to undertake a weekly travel challenge. And if we fail, there's a penalty, which is a reduction in our next week's budget by 25%. OK? Well. This week's challenge is we can pack anything we like as long as it fits in our day bag only. Oh, that's yeah. not cool. That's what do you not mean? funny. Shut oh, yeah. up. For how many days? For the five Shut days? Shut up. For the week, we only have our day back. Yeah. My makeup uh. alone will be like... <laughs> I have another announcement to make to the group. From today onwards, we have to split and travel in two individual groups. 
Oh my God. We'll do this each and every week until further notice, changing who we travel with each and every time. So right now we have to decide the two groups we're going to be in for the next week. Ah, oh, this is Libby. This is nuts. Totally nuts. This is really, really, really beginning to start to turn into a game, isn't it? Now. <laughs> I can't even believe that. This is so messed up. I'll show. I'll show you it randomly. That's what I'll show. I think because it's just week two, I'd be quite happy to just do boy girl because that would be the most natural divide. You know what? I really actually we should split boy girl. Thinking about it, no. I think we should be. That's boy -girl. the easiest thing for this week, and if because next week they might not have the rucksack thing, so then okay, I'm fine with that. Week. Okay, boy girl. Yeah. So far, the group have had to deal with two unexpected revelations. But they are about to receive an even bigger surprise. One final thing. Nathan and I will only be travelling as a two momentarily. As a replacement for Gareth will be travelling with us and won't meet you girls into the next weekly meet. Oh, my God. I'm excited. Yeah, That's the best too. piece of news. Yay! Woo! I'm so excited about the new person joining us. It does get claustrophobic out here when you're with the same people all the time, day in, day out. There's kind of no escape. So, you know, if there's one more person to just mix it up a bit, then I think that's brilliant. OK, everyone, I think that concludes our first weekly meeting. Um, we better go separate our bags. Let's go. With the meeting concluded, the girls head off to pack their small day bags. We should share one pack of wipes, I think, don't you? While Andrew pulls Nathan aside to tell him why he thinks the coming week's boy-girl split will work in their favour. I think the three girls together are going to completely screw up. They don't get along without us. So those three together in a stressful environment, they're going to end up hating each other by the end of it. And if we make sure we vote internally, hopefully we can get one of the votes off one of them and get some money. Trust me, oh, then we can play it. Then I know what you're it. saying. Then yeah. we can play it. That is a sensible thought. Because we haven't got to start playing the game now, there's no doubt. Oh, this, this is when it seems like a game now. <laughs> Let's get them against each other and then we'll start using them as weapons. That'll do it, yeah. That's, yeah, that's the deal, so, yeah. Let's go unpack our bags and right, just cool. see what happens.